Hey guys, Mark here, and today we'll be looking at the extremely cheap Prime Cables Gaming Monitor. This is a 27-inch 1080p VA panel that can run at 144Hz and has AMD FreeSync integration. As you can see, this monitor has an 1800R curve that actually adds a little to the immersion. I always thought curved monitors were a bit of a gimmick, but now that I actually have one, I don't mind it at all. The top and side bezels aren't actually as thick as they look, but unfortunately Prime Cables decided to go with a silver finish, accentuating the bezels and making them look much larger than they actually are. They're roughly the same size as my 27 inch Dell gaming monitor, but because the Dell has black bezels, they're much less intrusive. The bottom bezel of the Prime Cables monitor is a bit thicker than the rest and sports a glossy Prime Cables logo. I expected the build quality of the monitor to be very poor given its price, but I was actually pleasantly surprised to find that the vast majority of the material surrounding the panel to be made of metal. The only plastic parts are the box housing the inputs and the stand. The included stand is very small and not as stable as I'd hoped. If you bump your desk often, you will see the panel shake. It's also not vertically adjustable and can't be swiveled either. The monitor is VESA 100x100 compatible though, meaning you can attach it to a better stand or monitor mount if you like. For some strange reason, Prime Cables has opted to go and put monitor inputs on the side. I would have preferred them on the bottom or the back because the cables still have to be tucked in underneath or behind the monitor so they aren't seen. The monitor has DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort for video inputs, a DC power port to power the monitor, and a headphone jack. The monitor does not include speakers, however. On the bottom left of the panel, you'll find the OSD controls. They've opted to go with a joystick control, which I like, but it's a little difficult to use. It doesn't really operate how you'd expect, and it takes a few minutes to get used to how to use it. There are some decent options in here, though, so it's worth playing around with. Now let's talk about the panel itself. It's a VA panel, so viewing angles were expectedly poor. Any off-axis viewing will cause colors and contrast to wash out, and the colors and contrast of the Prime Cables monitor was actually disappointing overall anyway. Colors appeared more washed out than in other monitors I've tested in the past, and the contrast had to be increased in the OSD to get a more accurate result. Overall, if you're buying this monitor to do any sort of color critical work, or even if you just wanna use it for movies and TV, try to look for another option. However, gaming is where this monitor shines. While the colors and contrast may be disappointing when watching movies or TV, it's just fine for gaming. The monitor runs at 144 Hz and has a response time of one millisecond, which are both excellent for gaming. The monitor also includes AMD FreeSync for tear-free gaming if you have an AMD graphics card. One thing I will caution you about is that this is a 27-inch 1080p monitor. At that size, the 1080p resolution is a little too stretched and it's possible to see the individual pixels if you prefer to sit closer to your monitor. I usually recommend that 27-inch and above monitors have a resolution of 1440p or higher, but that usually comes down to personal preference. Overall, the Prime Cable's 27-inch 144Hz gaming monitor provides decent value at an incredibly low price. In fact, compared to the competition, this is easily one of the cheapest 144Hz panels, if not the cheapest, on the market, coming in at $299 Canadian dollars or $225 USD. If the colors and contrast aren't terribly important to you and you're looking for a very budget 144Hz monitor, this is a decent pick. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to support my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.